when you are treating adults with Invisalign, uh, basically braces, adult orthodontic treatment, whatever the appliance, you have to have certain goals. And it depends on the patient's complaint. This patient is very comfortable and expressed no issues with their bite. And if you can notice, this is a solid class one posterior occlusion on both sides. Everything is locked in beautifully. The problem is that there is some wear on the lower front teeth and some crowding. That has gotten worse over time. Here you see the upper crowding. Now, modern orthodontics favors expanding the arch in order to get room to align the teeth. Now, the ClinCheck comes back, and if you notice, the expansion is occurring bilaterally through even to the second molars. Even the third molar on the upper left is moving in this plan, as are the second molars and the first molars. Now, the starting occlusion that I showed you before has not been a problem for this patient. This patient is in their 50s. This lack of contact is not an issue for this patient. If this was a young teenager, I might wonder, hey, is there going to be undue wear on these teeth? But when someone's in their 50s and they have a bite like this and it's not a problem, you just basically leave it. Now, if you're using braces in this case, you could position the bracket to improve that occlusion. But when you're using aligners, and you know I love aligners, but you have to respect that posterior teeth can be a little tricky to settle an occlusion, in part because the aligner thickness is sitting between the teeth. And we really can't do any better than the occlusion on the other teeth. When you try to move posterior teeth with Invisalign, you sometimes can have some side effects because there's tight contacts back there and because they are teeth that are resistant to move. So my ClinCheck is showing movement here. And the question is, do I need this? Do I need that buccal root torque on that upper right second molar? So my secret here to keep a predictable treatment plan and also to minimize attachments even is going to be to take a look at this ClinCheck and evaluate it without any movement whatsoever of the molars. Now, of course, if this is a patient who is uncomfortable with their bite or has a very tipped molar that needs uprighting, well, that's what the point of the treatment is and you need the uprighting. So I'm just gonna program this to keep everything as it has been. And now I'm gonna look at the ClinCheck. I've expanded in the premolar region, which is where I need the expansion. And now I have an even stronger anchor using these static back teeth. I have much less chance of having any kind of posterior open bite because again, when you try to move posterior teeth with Invisalign, if you try to move any tooth with Invisalign and there's resistance, the intrusive force of the aligner may not play out the way you want and it may actually intrude the teeth. Same with the lower teeth. This is my hypothesis doing over 6,000 Invisalign cases. That movement that is complex, that does not play out, can actually lead to a worsening of the situation. So the point here is not to do compromised treatment. The point is to not cause problems from the treatment, which is called iatrogenic result. We don't want that. And I have had many people come into me after having Invisalign treatment or even more so smile direct where they may be programmed every tooth to move and they have posterior open bites from movement that didn't play out. So this ClinCheck can do everything it had in it before and you leave the molars where they are.